this here is for the convertible top axis for the dropping into the trough. We want to keep that, but this, we've also opened up the space for a little bit wider tire. You know, we brought the heights originally at crowns like here, so now it's gonna be out to the edge of the quarter panel. This will allow for more distance in here. It's a nice clean, shell, you know, nice rounded shape. And then we've got the end cap pre-made. It's gotta be shaped to fit, but I mean, I did the basic, I did the wheelhouse opening which I just have to put a flare on that and get that done. And then it's just measurements and trimming. And, and then I got to build some pieces back here. We got a little bit of rust going on in the back corner here that, you know, they put a new plate in there. Well, they didn't that great, we'll fix that. But I got to make a new plate here. You can see the rod holes. That's going to get cut out and replaced. And then all this crappy welding will get straightened out or I may just make a new plate complete. I'm up in the air on that right now. What's what's the best you know, best method I want to do on that? Well, this is good, but it's kind of crappy welded. So I'm thinking, bring it up higher, make the one piece weld the one piece into this setup. And dangle done. back going up higher. We're gonna go into the dimples here, though. Oh, we just cut. We just notch the dimples. We weld it right on the, each dimple like this. And then this one will square off because I just noticed, looking at this, that this is bondo. So I was just going to get the grinder to clean out. Just this here, see, what see what's under it, because if, if if it's like the rest of the car where the bondo was, it's like this, it's holes. Yeah. So we're gonna cut it. We'll bring this over. I might make an angle cap and just recap this whole thing from inside here, because it's only a, a series of bends, and that would probably be cleaner. When you when you grind this out, let me see it. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll take. I'll have him photo it. And then this, when when we weld this in, are we gonna cut this and then butt weld to yeah. this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right now, this it is just setting up to making the. It won't be on top of it like this. No, it'll be it's going to be into place. it. Okay. Yeah. And then all this eventually ends up. That's going to be all clean ground and, and flat welded. But right now, this is this is the fabricating phase. I still got metal inside that's going to get cut off. You still got the good clearance here. You've got almost two fingers there. Window all the way down. Now I'm just doing a basic up of here. I'm going to run a, are you a gonna quick come, line. Are you going to come with a piece? Yeah. Like oh, yeah. I got to put a brace in there. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. Just put a little ninety stuff. in there. Get all that shit cleaned out. Once we pull everything back down, we'll go in and go up. And put the window back up. Grind all of that down. Yeah. yeah. This will come out, and yeah. then you will be able to clean in it. Yeah. And then we'll put the L bracket the L in there. Yeah. That. Okay. And that'll get all solid. But this here is but bringing this it is right into the shape. This is basically the shape it's going to be. Then we're going to taper this in here because the tape is up in here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to taper that. We're going to mark this. Put a little notch here and tape this up into here and then probably roll this in right there where this, the gap is there. See how it's got the difference? Mm -hmm. But we're gonna taper this notch it, taper it in, and that way you just got the step up here for the roof. Yeah. Yeah, and that'll that'll take care of that situation. But right now I'm just running some quick, quick lines to get an approximate. And then I'll cut probably this much off for now and then set the quarter on. But this is just basically seeing how much we have to trim because I made these wider because we weren't sure what we had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. And at what point? That's going to be butt welded in when it's all there. I might butt final. weld it in one piece and put it in one piece yeah. if it stays shaped nice. Yeah. You know, that's what I'm thinking of doing, welding it off the car. You know, tack it on here, weld it up, put it in, done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that way, look one piece. Yeah. But we, you know, we're in the fabricating stages of it. What about this overlap? Are we going to butt those? The overlaps are going to get cut off. It's going to be butted up. Okay. Yeah. Right now, it's setting up to, to make the shapes and get everything where it's going to be. Then it's the fine tuning in because I got this little gapage right here, which we're going to butt into this piece right in here. Yeah. But this is just getting the basic set. Then I got to modify up in here where the old wheel well is. Once we get this secured, then I can cut that piece out. And everything will be clean up inside there. What was our plan on this? Were we going to wear this? Uh, I was going to put a little plate in it and weld it up. Because that's where the body mount, the, the plate like this is underneath it right now. So I didn't do nothing with welding because it's still there for alignment. All right. But when we if, do if, it. Even, even if it's not here, what about here? That's getting a, a continuation of this. I think if I remake it, I'm going to make it all the way to the end. Yeah. See, I, I couldn't do it when I was until making it, it. Right, until yeah. I had it physically yeah. able to do it. So you might want to do one piece. Yeah. So where we ain't got to have that patch. This piece right. can go all the way, way over. over. Yeah. And then bring it down, down and notch it around the body mount. 
Yeah. Even if it's Because this is all junk. If you look right here, if you look at this here, this is all junk weld from when they did it before. It's like gobs of weld. Right. Which is getting cleared off. Yeah. But right now, even, it's even just underneath alignment. A, like how we did, like if we keep this factory, even if we just right. had a sharp piece that maybe kept the cage nut right. on the top, and when it's just one piece, so when we weld it, it's like zip, right up there. zip, yeah. zip, yeah. zip, yeah. and then, then right you, there. You, yeah. and then it's almost, it's, it's yeah. none then of it's this, it's fairly really level, piece, you know it's what fairly mean? level. You can grind, oh, yeah. just like this will be welded in here, once yeah. it's grinded down, it'll look all uniform. Yeah, when we change, from, when know, we that. make this piece out, this line will go. It'll, it'll be flat all the way across there. Right. Yeah, so these two will be bye bye. Yeah, and then this one, if we extend the piece, it right. will be like a little. Yeah, we're going to bring it two inches further that way. Yeah. And make that clean. But you know, this is basically leaving the strength in it to do the play in and doing some primary cuts to get ready to fit a quarter panel on it. Gotcha. Sometimes you can have 40, 40, 50 hours in one side of a quarter panel. You know, we already got. From where we at now, we already got probably 12 hours in and we still haven't welded it on. A lot of times you have to take off and either add insult to injury. Obviously his wheel well was completely rotted out. If we go back to the videos, we'll flash some of the before pictures where a lot of this stuff had to be cut out and then we just maximized the area. We're giving them wider tubs, you know, thicker metal, a lot of strength. But we also got to keep everything in relation to underneath the factory quarter panel. We already went over the strength zone up here by the bend is the strongest part of the metal, which is where you can get the best weld at. That's why we went up here um, on a complete, you know, full panel. So once we get everything trimmed back, you know, obviously you can see the tubs clearance, you know, that he's created, you know, so. Not only are we fixing it, but we're making it stronger and, you know, uh, more useful, I guess, because now we have more wider tubs, it's bigger wheels that can go in there, and it's, it's gonna come together real good. All of the surface works, everything we get, every, once we get everything where we wanted it, all of the surface work to be grounded off, we'll prep everything, epoxy coat it, you know, for rust-free years to come, and, it's gonna be real nice. We're so excited that we finally got the quarter panels in. If you guys know that the quarter panels been on back order for those guys been building these cars, the sheet metal and everything kind of got held up with COVID. So we starting to get the parts in. We actually got four sets of quarters in for variations of different cars. So we're ready to go. VTS Viato, your quarter panel specialist. Made this all one piece nice, this here with the reinforcement for here, down around the body mount, because that's all cutty whoopers underneath that. So. We're gonna make it pretty.